Hello guys. In uh, today's uh, video I will show you how easy it can be to update the BIOS of uh, an uh, Asus um, Intel platform motherboard. Uh, in this case the um, Asus ROG Z490-E gaming uh, motherboard. I'm using this motherboard with the uh, Intel i9-10900K and um, after uh, you will uh, have reinstalled uh, freshly the operating system, the Windows, um, just a hint, you need to do that in order to uh, have all the cores and threads showing up uh, in your uh, task manager so right after the uh, the install uh, of the the hardware you will need to uh, freshly uh, install the windows also if you'll use an uh, older uh, hard drive or SSD so after installing the windows automatically uh, you will have uh, this software installed right away from the first boot. It's called Armory Crate. So this you will not have to do anything uh, when you log into Windows. Uh, this will install it. Okay, let's close this and see if the Asus Easy Update is uh, also gonna install it. We just click it and hit update. Down in the right uh, lower corner and it also says that the following process downloads and updates the item for better compatibility and function upgrade do not shut down or restart your computer during the system update so this is really important don't shut down the PC while the BIOS update uh, is uh, working so yeah, with the Asus Easy Update software is a lot uh, straightforward. Click OK. So it has been downloaded. The following process installed the items on your computer. Do not shut down or restart your computer during the system update. Do you want to continue? OK. And now simply wait. And that's it. The updates are finished. Please restart your computer and the settings are applied after the next boot. Save all the files and close the applications before continuing. Do you want to restart the system now? Click OK. So now, uh, after the uh, restart, the um, Uh, computer went straight into the uh, um, update procedure and uh, we see here processing clear database So we, we don't have to do absolutely anything, just uh, wait for the uh, loading line to be completed. Let's see how much it will, uh, it will take. So just don't touch anything. Oh, you see that message processing clear database. Uh, you just have to be a uh, patient. And now we are at 
update area 2, area 3. We're at area 5 now. I wonder if we'll have area 51 also. But yeah, the um, just a short um, feedback on the uh, uh, components. It is a night, night and day difference between the Intel and AMD uh, system guys even if I am gonna be um, flagged uh, or flamed by you for this man everything simply works um, it's just incredible how uh, how perfect the system runs it's true I've invested a lot of money into it but the peace of mind you get, um, it's outstanding. So right now the update was successfully, the system will restart. So we get a reboot. And right now the uh, BIOS is updating, do not shut down or reset the system to prevent system boot failure. So we need to wait further on. Another shutdown. So we have signal again. Okay, so let's uh, enter, press F1. Um, for uh, Intel default CPU settings. We're in, uh, in the BIOS. Let's uh, select the uh, easy mode. And right here, uh, of course, after uh, a BIOS update, the XMP is disabled. I will enable it. The RAM from 2133 to 3200 MHz, CL14. You can see the CPU temperature 34 degrees. The motherboard also really um, cool and quiet. And indeed we have now the BIOS version 0607. So this is about it. Um, we've enabled like, XMP and now press F10 to um, to save an exit and click OK and that's it right now the PC will uh, restart and we will boot into Windows
Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best and I'll catch you in the next one.